Welcome back everyone, I'm Winter, and today we're going to learn how to play Terran. It's 2020, there's been changes to StarCraft 2, it's still going strong, but it's been a few years, or it's been never, and you're trying to learn how to play. Well, let me tell you what's changed. Nothing important for you, my Metal League friends. Marines, tanks, marauders, medevacs, and, and liberators will still get you pretty far. There's not any major changes to the other races, despite what you might see on the illustrious Battle.net forums or the always accurate Twitch chat. The races are still about the same, they're balanced, and until the later game, you can rely on even those older builds. But today I'm going to teach you how to do a solid one. What are we going to do? Very first, and, and disclaimer, this is not for people like this is the first time I watched the sick amazing trailer i watched some car bots well you probably already have more educational experience than much of the campaign but uh if you played a few dozen games whether it be co-op or campaign you got the basic like i know how to make a control group i know how to use my keyboard with the game i'm not just using the mouse or my controller or ddr pad well this is for you bronze silver gold maybe platinum maybe maybe diamond if you're particularly lost but what are we going to learn to do? Today, we're going to learn how to play with ourselves. So, I think this is an important part to start every day's training session. We're going to go into a match all by ourselves with no one there. And we're going to play with ourselves. We're going to try to max out as quick as possible. I go over to melee maps on the custom tab. Just pick the first one off the ladder maps tab, which are the seven maps in this season's map pool. And we're going to make a lobby. And then, switch to the only correct race, we'll be honest. Terran. And that's it. Let's start. So what are we trying to do here? We're trying... If, if you can't execute your build, if you can't at least get the basics down with no pressure, it's just you, and everything rattling around in there, then how are you going to do it with an opponent? So now, we're going to learn. Here we go again. Move along. Return to game. The timer's still going. That's all we're worrying about. Hotkey my first command center. If you're going to set up camera locations, we can do it now. I like to set them up for my bases. I have a quick guide on that. First, SCV goes to the ramp to build a depot. Today, we're going to learn a bio build. Terran players have the unique privilege, or they would call it right, uh, to build both bio and mech units uh, with differing builds, but I think early on it's fine to just learn a, a safe, solid bio build. Get your sim pack, get everything else, build a barracks up next. I'm already hot keying here. So, barracks on 16, refinery on 16. What I'm going to do is show you the 111. Uh, I'm going to show you what to scout for. This is a build, so Terran also has the privilege. This is a build you can use against all the races. I'd say it's strongest um, against Protoss, what I'm doing here, but at the lower levels, you're bronze, silver, gold. You're, you're generally metal leagues uh, all the way up through platinum. You don't need incredibly race-specific builds as Terran. Just nailing down a solid 111, one barracks, one factory, one starport opener. So I'm going to build a reactor first, but I'm going to scout here. So let's say, so first things I'm checking for, no matter what race I'm up against, is does he have an expansion? And then I get into his base, maybe he's Terran or Protoss, does he have one gateway, does he have two, does he have a forge? If he has anything, if he's Terran, if Your he has CC more than one barracks, you need a bunker. A if he's Protoss, he has more than one gate, you guessed it, you need a bunker. Uh, if he's Zerg and he's expanding slower than you, you need a bunker. Is good to go. And you need a bunker in a timely manner. This game is so I'm going to build Marines out of this as soon as I have 100 gas. I'm building a factory. I already built the supply depot as soon as I had the minerals. And very important, I neglected because it's so. Uh, could, you, could you? Could you? Shh. Shh. This guy. He doesn't stop talking. Like, he doesn't shut up. 
It's so annoying. Why? Anyways, sometimes I'll have the SCV scout come back. I think just keeping the SCV around till it dies. Not dying for no reason, but is he taking more bases? Stuff like that. So, I'm just building up Marines. I'm going to jam them in the bunker. And barracks, orbital. Barracks, orbital. Very important. Barracks, and then orbital. The orbital command, a mule does the mining. The mule drop does the mining of approximately five SCVs. So, and it doesn't oversaturate. It can mine over the top because it has very long arms. So that means you can have all of your SCV mining plus your mule mining, which adds additional on top of it and doesn't overwrite any of the SCV mining. So I'm going to do something a little different than you might see in most starter guides. I'm going to open with a cyclone. Because one of the most annoying things is Terran is when one annoying unit comes in. I'm going to get a second gas right around 25, 26 SCVs. Command center upgrade. But the Cyclone can lock on to single targets, like, say, an Oracle, or a Void Ray, or a Liberator, or a Medevac, and it can do a very good job of taking them out. So I'm building more depots. We're going to assume this is a Zerg or a Protoss. It's more for a Zerg or a Protoss, uh, specifically Protoss. And I'm going to wall off at the front. It's worth it. Again. And I know you guys, big fans of walls, Terran players, you gotta keep the Protoss and the Zerg out. Oh, winter, mine some gas. But as I'm building this next siege tank, as I'm building the tank, and I should have had the gas already because I wasn't mining it, this is what I'm gonna tie it all into. I don't like builds. I'm gonna have one Marine out in front to scout. I'm gonna send another Marine across the map. I don't like builds that are dependent on supply because things happen like you lose units maybe you lose a couple to reapers or something like that I like things that are dependent on other things happening that way they're stronger like you can tie it together I'm building a siege tank I build my two barracks now I built a cyclone I built a viking and then I built a siege tank and then I built my extra Oh my god, the supply box. So do as I say, not as I do, pretty much. Construct additional depots. But here I have, I'm going to hotkey them all together. I use the tab key to switch between. The tab key is what I'm using with that. And I'm just going to continue building up tanks. And as I have the minerals, a third command center, and two engineering base. This should be around five minutes. Third command center built in the main and two engineering base. Now, if I knew he was going air or something like that, I'm going to flip these over. Notice I built the reactor on the starport there. You might have to go back a little and, and look at the details. There's a lot of little details with Terran builds. I might go into the replay real quick, but it's all about getting that two base production going. I'm gonna start stim. Fun fact for those who haven't been playing for a while. Fun fact! Fun fact, top 10 reasons to like and subscribe. But supply fun fact, Stim got short, buffed. Uh, supply. Stim got buffed. Stim now researches way faster. I'm going to drop supply depots. Don't be scared of this. Don't. If you're supply blocked and you have energy, drop supply depots. And ideally, drop the ones that are on the top of the ramp. Or something like that. Not the ones that are at your natural that could die to an attack. So as soon as possible, going to get those upgrades. Really should be aiming for six minutes to start them. I'm going to get barracks. Is that barracks four? It's supposed to be barracks five as well. What a terrible... The thing is, with Terran, things are going to go wrong in your build. Because Terran has the biggest dependence on production. They have the least leeway to make mistakes. What do I mean by that? Uh, because Terran... If you get supply block, not only do you have to get unsupply block, but then you have to start building the unit. You can't just warp it in or anything like that. So here's a big tip. This is for all the races, but especially Terran. Idle workers. You got idle workers? You know the F1 key. But how do you select all your idle workers? Control. I'm hitting the control button. And F1. That selects all of a group of units. Whatever you do next, it modifies to select all of a group of units. Select all those idle workers. Get them to work. You gotta work for a living. So I'm building up now. Ideally, by the time you get to 50 SCVs, you're looking at five barracks, a factory, and a starport. 
I, another tip, I've rebound my lift key to the F key because the L key is all the way over on the Brood War side of the keyboard. Build some body. So, yes. Let's get that Again. combat shield started. Yeah, yeah. But the import most important parts are the timing of the upgrades, the barracks 2 and 3, and the third base. If you can nail those down and get those right while building SCVs most games and not get supply blocked as much as I do, I do this a lot in the letter. I'm shift clicking back to mining. I'm holding the shift key, right click each of these times. I'm going to drop, oh my god, it's so bad. I should redo this. I'm probably too lazy to. But gonna drop some mules on this base and usually as you're taking a third and if you haven't been threatened yet this is the time to build some turrets around your base I built an armory to go for 2-2 ideally you build that when your upgrades are about two-thirds done but this is when things like warp prisms and drops become a real threat so the objective I'll give you I'll give you a benchmark the objective here is to max out if you're bronze so on marines, tanks, and then after four medevacs, or maybe six medevacs, we'll go to six medevacs, I'm building liberators. Um, after that, research is done. Uh, I want to max out by, ideally for me, ten minutes is solid um, at Masters Plus. For diamond, eleven minutes, platinum, twelve, bronze, silver, gold. Well, bronze... Maxing out at all. Silver maxing out at all. Great job. Keep it up. 2-2 two, two upgrades for bronze and silver. Great job. Keep it up. Taking a third base. Great job. Keep it up. But for gold, 13-ish minutes. Bronze and silver will say 15. Because Terran does have that extra stipulation where it becomes a little bit harder to, to maintain production. Especially if you're getting supply blocked as much as me. But I'll just keep dropping that supply because it's more important than mules, especially if I have money. Like, I have 69 SCVs. Nice. And really, the number about 75 is fine with what you're looking at. And then, what do you do from here? Here, we're looking towards either late game control, which would be a lot of liberators. Like, maybe I get a fusion core and another starport or two to build more liberators. And, and liberators are a little hard to control, yeah, but has been getting used to them, and I'll give you a few tips. Control clicking units on the screen or in the box below is helpful. Control click the tanks. I'm just selecting the tanks to siege. Just do it one more time. We're microing around, doing it, or you could hotkey them, like control click tanks, control two, and suddenly they're all on that hotkey. Uh, I usually like to control click to set up my bio. Control click marines, control one. Control click marauders, shift one. Control click medevacs, shift one. And now suddenly it's just my bio. We can go stim to win. And then same thing for liberators. Get them sieged up. Another tip, I rebound my liberator and my cyclone hotkeys from N, which is the default, to Q. Um, which I find is a lot easier. So I, I usually use standard hotkeys. For the vast majority, I use standard hotkeys. But for things that are on the um, less loved side of the keyboard, uh, I like to rebind them to things more more comfortable that won't give me carpal tunnel too early in my life. I'm surprised I haven't gotten it yet. It's not like it's contagious. It's just you know how it goes. But rest in peace, Cyril. Not yet. Not yet. I, I, those risks better be insured for millions of dollars. Anyways, so the focus here the is cluster, on maxing feet. out as quick as possible. If you're going to play, say, two hours of ladder today, I think one time playing with yourself is all right. But if you're setting some time aside to play, if it was bronze, four games, but for everyone else is about a dozen, four hours of games, maybe try a couple times. Treat it like a, a speed run to an extent. Out of that Getting 2-2. Two, two. This guy. Nice. Uh, a mineral field has been depleted. Could you shut up for like one second? Oh my god. Thank you. Um, but I think at those timings, for Diamond Masters, 10 to 11 minutes. For Bronze, Silver, Gold, well, for Platinum, 12 minutes. And then Bronze, Silver, Gold, 13, 14 minutes. If you can get 2-2, two, two, if you can max out with tanks and medevacs and liberators, 
and you don't up a attack up a ramp into siege tanks, easily 80% win rate at that timing. I don't care what they do to you. That guy, if that guy's going proxy reaper, there's almost a guarantee he hasn't maxed out in his entire StarCraft career. It's possible. It's probable. Uh, of course, it, it, the probability goes down a little bit with each, each league. But say he is sitting back on his second base. We've all been there. With a bunch of siege tanks and a bunch of turrets. What do you do? Upgrades on your armory and battle cruisers. You build five star ports. You build seven command centers. You don't have to attack him. He's making less money than you. He's going to run out eventually. The, the time you want to really use your army to deny bases is fourth bases. Three bases, you take a fourth, you take a fifth, you make a dozen battle cruisers, you call in the fleet. Battle cruisers are the way to do it. You can technically do it with siege tanks and ranged liberators, but battle cruisers, come on, come on, battle cruisers. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you like, and subscribe, and give me comments about how you ran up a ramp into siege tanks and my guy doesn't work, um, and what else you want to see. But good luck out there playing with yourself, and good luck on the ladder. Go play some games. Good luck. Have fun.